Well, this week, President Biden laid out his plan to expand competition in the U.S. meatpacking industry during a roundtable discussion with cabinet members and even a handful of producers the president addressed meatpacker consolidation in today's industry. In too many industries, a handful of giant companies dominate the market. And too often, they use their power to squeeze out smaller competitors and stifle new entrepreneurs, making our economy less dynamic, and giving themselves free reign to raise prices, reduce options for consumers, or exploit workers. The meat industry is a textbook example on the price side. Four big corporations control more than half of the markets in beef, pork, and poultry. The National Cattlemen's Beef Association's president-elect Don Schiefelbein says that expanding packer capacity is absolutely critical to restoring producer profitability. And if you look at the market situation and say how does it best to get most of the dollars back to cow calf guy, it's increasing market throughput. And so packer capacity is everything. And the president says that capitalism without competition is just exploitation. And that's exactly what's happening now in the meat industry. That's what we're seeing in meat and poultry, those industries now. Small independent farmers and ranchers are being driven out of business, sometimes businesses that have been around for generations. It strikes at their dignity, their respect, and the family legacy so many of them carried for generations after generation. Now the president's plan includes four core strategies for creating a more competitive, fair, and resilient meat and poultry sector with better prices for both livestock producers and consumers. They include $1 billion for expanding independent processing capacity, supporting workers at independent processors, strengthening the rules to protect producers and consumers, as well as promoting vigorous and fair enforcement of the existing competition laws. In Billings, Russell Nemitz, MTN News.